Hey guys, this is Nick here with Cunis RV coming at you from our Slinger, Wisconsin location doing another product spotlight. This here is a 2021 Crossroads Cruiser Air 28 RKS. This thing comes in at over only 6,400 pounds. It's about 32 feet 11 in size. Has uh, 45 gallons of fresh water capacity, 60 gallons of gray water, and over 30 gallons of black water. What I love about this unit here, this is the ultimate couples coach that someone's looking to pull with a half ton vehicle. Let's take a look around and see what it's all got for awesome features. So starting at the front of the coach, you got a full power tongue jack with LED light on the front of it, two 20 pound LP tanks already on the vehicle, spot for a group 24 battery, also have a solar panel prep package on here. So it's got a plug to put a mobile solar panel on the outside. And on the front of here, we got a full diamond plate bottom exterior for any rock guard. And then up here, we got a full fiberglass painted front cap. These front caps are ideal. They take a little more of the abuse going down the road. They'll fill them with a lot more insulation on the inside of here so your R values go up. And also this is all gonna be a painted piece. This black here is painted, the white. So the front of the trailer always takes the most abuse from sun, road, road debris, everything. It's gonna hold up and look a lot better for years to come. Uh, one of the key features to the Cruiser Air frame is going to be the integrated A-frame. Not a lot of trailer companies are doing this, but when they take the integrated frame, it's over three times more weld than your standard stacked frame. And how they end up doing that is they take the A-frame here, cut it into the main I-beam frame that you see here, so they weld it here, goes back, and then going to your spar chassis that goes all the way back, more weld going out there, so it helps keep everything a lot more rigid. That is a key feature to keeping trailers lasting a long time. The more rigid that we can keep something, the better. Another cool feature they do on the Crossroads Cruiser frame is it's called a dropped frame. So they take this whole front section of the frame and they drop it down and this gives you this huge pass-through storage. It's a flush floor, there's no step on the inside. First you start out with these nice slam latches. They're gonna be nice metal latches paired to the magnets. The doors are about twice as large as a standard baggage door is going to be and you get a huge pass-through lit storage. There's a motion light in here along with a full LED uh, light strip all the way across. Paired with the bed frame is actually aluminum. A lot of times you'll lift these doors up and you'll see nothing but just little one by ones or, or even two by twos. This is all going to be a welded aluminum bed frame on here. So you see coming to the entertainment part of the unit we got a full power awning with LED lights on the whole end of here. And I love about this about the awning, it actually covers the entire outside kitchen. So out here we got a full capital grill setup. We got a powder coated metal piece for your countertops. You're not worried about there ever getting water damage or anything on it, if rain or anything would ever hit it. A full outside fridge, perfect for drinks. And this unit's also paired with two outside speakers. So you have inside, outside, everything for a full entertainment setup. So on the back of the unit here, we got a full roof ladder going up there, checking seals, cleaning the roof, brushing off any debris or anything after a long weekend of camping. This thing has a backup camera prep package on it. This one also has a full size spare tire, full tube bumper. That's gonna be for storing your sewer hose. And what I really like too is where they actually put the power cord is just right on the back, nice and hidden away. You don't have it cut into the side of the trailer. Just a really nice slick feature. This is taking a look at the Cruiser Air's docking station. This is for all your water hookups. We have an outside shower hookup here. Black tank flush is for washing out the black water tank. We have a city water connection hookup. So if you're at the campground, you got to hook it in. And also what's really slick is going to be a battery cutoff switch. That's a really awesome piece that they put on. So when you're done camping, you don't have to worry about anything draining your battery as you have your trailer sitting around. Turn that piece to off, it turns everything off in the unit. Flip it back on and you should have the same amount of battery power that you left it at. Another awesome feature that the Cruiser has is going to be they do all aluminum wheels, not just a steel wheel, they look a little nicer. They're also going to be stronger as well. So on the outside of the Cruiser, the wall frame construction is going to be a full aluminum frame construction. It's going to be the, they take the inner wall, the outer wall, foam block insulation, everything is going to be laminated. They also use in the, the full frame decking of this is going to be a, a heated and enclosed underbelly. So for that cold weather camping, you're not having to worry about your tanks freezing. They use a thermal foil insulation as well. So it's a, a reflective barrier. So if the sunlight hits it or heat, it helps everything reflect. Uh, another thing when you walk on the inside of the coach, they use this big, nice folding grab handle. 
followed by the uh, Lippert solid step. So this right here is gonna be a full fold out stair. They don't just hang from the side of the unit. So when you walk in, you get a lot of flex. These go all the way from the ground to the trailer. And these are nice and solid. This front step here is perfect for, uh, for pets going in. They can't get their claws caught. It's a 13 inch step, so it's bigger than most. And these are just a huge, these are a great feature to the, uh, to the cruiser. This is standing in the back of the, the 28 RKS, RK meaning rear kitchen. Uh, with the kitchen on this thing, you'll see you get a ton of countertop space. So you get this whole peninsula style uh, countertop, lots of overhead storage here, and a lot of the awesome amenities that it has. Huge microwave, one of the biggest microwaves I'd say that we ever see in an RV. You don't see a lot of them this size. Big three burner stove top with a glass cookware cover with a nice backsplash, full oven. This thing actually has a wine chiller on the inside of it as well. So that's a really slick piece. And to top it off, you have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So it's a lot bigger fridge, a little bit better cooling capacity. Uh, these are a little bit newer thing in the RV industry, but they've been uh, received very well. So this is taking a look at the dinette and the, the couch in this unit. You got a full U-shaped dinette full two pull-out drawer guides on each side of the dinette, along with the full hide-a-bed sofa. So this isn't just a little jackknife sofa, this pulls out into a full bed. Uh, really nice for taking extra people along. So taking a look at the entertainment center on the inside of the cruiser, we got a full automated pop-up big screen TV, followed by a full fireplace. This is an electric heat fireplace. It'll warm up to typically about 400 square feet. It's got many different color options and the thing just looks slick when it's on. In the bathroom of the coach, you got a full foot flush porcelain toilet. This makes a big difference versus your normal plastic ones. Any household cleaners uh, you'll be, are all toilet safe. Lots of storage along the whole trailer, full vanity closet, along with the shower pan in this thing. This is gonna be a full square shower pan. Gives you a lot more room, elbow room. I'm about 6'5", and I definitely love these showers more than just your normal, typical uh, small tub surround. So this makes a big difference. Moving into the bedroom of the unit as well, we got a full king size bed, along with two huge shirt closets on each end, spot for an LCD TV hookup, spot for a second air conditioner. If you ever want to throw one of those in, they do two uh, 12 volt outlets on each bed, followed with two 110 outlets, and lots of uh, overhead cabinetry here too, so. So there you have it guys, let's take a look at the 2021 Crossroads Cruiser 28 RKS. If you want to see more photos and some information on this unit or take a look at our huge inventory online at cunisrv.com. If you like this video or want to see many more like it, hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you guys and talk to you soon.